you were looking to be in a serious long-term relationship, how would you go about doing it? Um... I don't really know. I know there's a lot of like online dating sites nowadays. It's a lot easier to, to meet someone. But I guess like everything I've gone, like been through in the past has been like through school friends, like mutual friends, that kind of thing. So I, that's kind of how I would do it. You're in a committed relationship. Um, what did you do different this time, maybe compared to previous times? Um, I guess be a bit more easygoing and open to compromise like you can't always get your own way in something you have to be willing to do what the other person wants to do sometimes otherwise it's not really a relationship it's more uh, I don't really know you're kind of like forcing someone else into doing something that you want which isn't really a good way to carry on a relationship where would you look for somebody who you might you know look for as a long-term relationship and where would you not look I wouldn't look at places like clubs and stuff like that because I just don't think, I don't know, like, I feel like when you meet someone just for one night, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. But if I was looking for something more serious, probably just like through friends, like telling me about people and introducing me to people. Maybe in a pub, maybe in a club. If I, if this girl is very beautiful, maybe. Some, yes. or Do you approach her? At school, maybe too, yeah university maybe because I go to the university and maybe there I guess it's more of a friends thing like you can do the whole online dating stuff but I think if you want to be in a committed relationship just from my experience it's best to kind of talk to friends is there anyone that they think you'd be suited to uh, maybe look at work whether there are any colleagues that you don't directly work with or if they've got any friends some something like that is good to kind of know someone who can get you in rather than another way and is there somewhere you would not look or avoid? Me personally, just the internet, just because I'm in a long-term relationship and I think it, the whole online boom happened while I was in the relationship, so I've never seen the kind of um, attraction in it personally. Um, and I think it's quite hard to know what someone's like just from online and I prefer the whole personal approach. If you know someone or if you've heard of someone, go down that route. Why do you think people are having trouble for someone, looking for someone they can be with long-term? Um, I don't know, I just think everyone's really different, so sometimes like there'll be like one thing that you'll think I can't be with someone like that, like everyone, everyone's really different, so you sort of have to, have to find that one person that you see, and that's quite hard. I think it's just like I was saying before, the compromise bit, like if you're not willing to compromise then you're not kind of able to be in a relationship because it's just controlling otherwise, um, you need to be able to look at what the other person wants to do, you need to be able to think about how you're, you will feel if you're doing that or if you're put in that situation um, and kind of if it's just a little argument that you're having just understand it's a little argument, it's not the end of the world, like you argue with your family um, and that's how I try and think of it, if it's an argument um, about the same thing all the time then maybe that's different, that's something then you need to sit down and talk to the other person about but if it's just a small thing then it's just a small thing and let it go.